be persistent, but don't be proud. God always rewards the humble. Like the Nanay woman, work hard, but stay humble. Be persistent. Never give up. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Friends, brothers, and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Jesus went to the district of Tyre and Sidon, and a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David, my daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not answer her at all, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. Jesus answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. The story of the Canaanite woman in today's gospel tells us one important reminder in life. And that is, be persistent. Never give up. Amidst of the discouragement, amidst of the insults, she never quit. Number one, can you imagine? You are a mother and your daughter is tormented by a demon. And you heard about this Jesus casting out demons, healing the sick. And you are pleading for the healing of your daughter. But Jesus Never mind her. She was insulted. She was called dog. And the disciples were telling him, her to keep quiet. But she keep on shouting, Jesus, please have mercy on me. Her faith was extraordinary. Can you imagine that experience you're pleading for help and then people are not minding you? She never gave up on her prayer request for Jesus to heal her daughter tormented by a demon. She keeps on shouting and she keeps on pleading, Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. For me, 
The first message that the gospel of life will remind us today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear people of God, is this. No amount of discrimination can stop you if you are persistent. As what I've told you, she was discriminated, she was called a dog, Jesus did not answer her. Why? Because of their cultural hostility. She is a Canaanite and Jesus is a Jew and they are not in good terms with each other. She is a woman and Jesus is a man. And it's a no-no in public places. It's a taboo. But I love what she did. She knelt before Jesus and begged her and said, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. It tells us also that Jesus is the solution to our miseries in life. Maybe we are not tormented by the devil today. We are not tormented by a demon. But perhaps, like this woman, we have our own miseries in life. Like her, have a faith. Even if sometimes you think and you feel that the Lord is not listening to our prayers, keep begging the Lord, Lord, help me. Maybe it is an experience of health issues, experience of uh, not in good terms with someone, or I do not know what are our miseries are. But today, like this Canaanite woman, tell the Lord, Lord, help me. And this is the similar prayer of Peter in yesterday's gospel. Lord, I'm drowning, I'm sinking, save me. She knelt before Jesus, begging. And this leads me to my second point. Be persistent, but don't be proud. Don't be proud. God always rewards the humble. Like the Nanai woman, work hard, but stay humble. Today, we remember St. John Mary Vianney, the patron saint of all the dioceses and priests. Based on my memory of him, on the readings I have, you know, he is not an intellectual man. He was not gifted with, you know, he's not the bright man, not a smart one. In short, Sorry to say, he had no brain, but he was filled with wisdom and humility. I, he has no brain because according to his biography, he failed in Latin. Cannot pass any Latin exam. He's not good in Latin. And it was a requirement before for you to become a priest. But can you imagine? He failed in Latin, but he became a sought-after confessor. You know, he is a renewed confessor. Very famous one. And can you imagine his life as a priest? He spent 12 to 16 hours a day in a confessional box. 12 to 16 hours a day. Why? Because there is a long line up of people wanted to confess. And because of that ministry, he converted many people through his wisdom and advice. And I love what he said and I quote. 
the saints did not all begin well, but they all ended well. The saints did not all begin well, but they all ended well. Human as we are, we may have a sinful and scandalous starting point. But you know, remember my dear friends, if our starting point are not that good, because of our sins. Remember, we have a beautiful and amazing finish line. As what I've told you before, you know, even if you start bad, be sure to end well. And this is what happened to the experience of the Canaanite woman. It was a bad start. You are a dog, you are a woman. Shut up, you're very noisy. But you know what the gospel says at the end? And her daughter was healed instantly. Final point, the Canaanite woman was rewarded by her faith. Her daughter was healed. That's why in a desperate situation, there is always hope for those who have faith. There is always hope to those who have faith. Let me end by saying, today, we are reminded again, never give up. You will surely smile someday as long as you will never quit and continue to live in humility. Let me end by reiterating my point with three P. P, P, P. Number one, be persistent. But do not be proud. When you do that, you will be rewarded with a prize. And what was the prize? Her daughter was healed instantly. And today, if you have faith like this woman, the Lord will assure us and He will say, Let it be done for you as you will.